Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome to the 2020 Pork Challenge. Hope everyone's keeping safe and well. Craig, thank you very much for your nomination and passing the baton over. It's early Sunday morning here. Uh, looking outside, it's a sunny day, but it's probably only going to get to about 10 or 11 degrees C, so not really barbecue weather. And normally on a Sunday in our household it is roast day, so we will have a family roast around the table. But today I'm going to make an exception because we are going to take a nice piece of pork shoulder. This is a free range joint produced by one of two of our customers. I bought it from a local supermarket. Uh, they both have free range systems with PIC 327 sires. Uh, we're going to take that. I will brine it for probably about three to four hours and I will then take you out into the garden and show you a charcoal pit. Uh, which I will build this morning, doesn't take very long and we are then going to grill that piece of meat very slowly under the grill for probably three to four hours and then we'll have a look, it should be nice and smoky we're going to put a few bits of uh, apple wood chip on there and maybe one or two oak to get the smoke up but it should taste really good let's see okay so this is the joint of meat as I said it's pork shoulder, it's about 1.1 kilo uh, it came from one of two of our customers who are in Norfolk. Both produce uh, free-range pork. Uh, if you look, a little bit of fat running through it. It's nice and firm. I suspect that one of the challenges I will have is that on the grill, some of these strings will actually just burn through. So we're probably going to need to skewer it a little bit. But before we put it on the grill, what I'm going to do is make up a brine. And we are going to brine this for three to four hours in the fridge. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so what we've got here is some brine and the meat. The brine is a relatively simple brine. You can look these up on the internet. This one is fairly heavy sugar, so about half a cup of demerara or molasses sugar uh, and a big heap tablespoon of salt. I put some garlic, pepper and a few other bits of spices in there. It's fairly thick because the aim is we're going to produce a blackened pork shoulder so what we want is the outside of it to be quite black but it's quite a thin sticky jammy black which tastes really good we don't want the meat to burn too much we just want the sugar to burn so this should just fit in there without the liquid coming over the top which would have been a schoolboy error really and the brine just will make the meat more succulent and stop it drying out so we're going to put that in there and keep turning it sort of 20 minutes, half an hour or so for a couple of three hours. Okay, let's put it in the fridge. Okay, we'll leave that soaking. Okay, so hopefully this is about done. It should look quite crispy, dark, because the sugar on the outside of the joint should have caramelised. Let's have a look. Ooh. There we go. 
fire's died down quite a bit now. And there we've got one glazed pork joint. Fairly moist, still crispy on the outside. That will be good when pulled apart. Okay, enough. Evening friends, welcome to the 2020 Port Challenge. I've had a good day, uh, sun's come out, been better than expected. I've grilled my pork, so now it's time for nominations. My first nomination is the Lumia Bosic Sesca PIC. My second nomination for the Port Challenge is Ian Bond in the UK. My third nomination is Richard McDonald, PAC North America. And my fourth nomination is the expert in terms of barbecuing and grilling, Xavier Villa. So on that, I would like to wish you well. You can see the pigs over on the hill in the distance if you want. For some of you who have forgotten what pigs look like. But for me for now, have a good day. Take care.